Hello friends. In the last, in the previous, this one we have discussed problem definition. That is basic the research or the survey which we carry out for the definition. Once a problem statement has been discussed, we have to deal with some something called as problem definition. The problem definition is the overview of the entire statement which concepts of input, processing and output. Once the definition has been created, we have to now go into the coding part. Once we have to go into the coding part, we have to first do a designing. Before we actually code the concepts, the designing is done using two things, an algorithm and a flowchart. An algorithm can be said as a pseudocode algorithm or a normal algorithm also. Now let's first define these two terms and then proceed with the next part. What exactly is an algorithm? An algorithm is a step-by-step -step representation of a design to perform an operation using simple English language. An algorithm is independent of programming languages. The entire designing has to be said in step-by-step -step using a simple and a conversable English language. This language can be later on used or these steps can be later on used for implementing the code. The code can be implemented using any of those programming languages. The algorithm which we define has to be very very simple. The steps of writing an algorithm can vary from individual to individual. The very first step of an algorithm is always said as start. In the middle we can write statements pertaining to input, statement pertaining to output, statement pertaining to processing part. Once these steps have been said by numbering them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on, we can go for implementing this algorithm into a coding language. So do remember that an algorithm has to always start with start and should end up with stop. You can name them as 1, 2, 3 as step numbers. When you write them, don't try to include the programming language instructions into this. Since this is the first part of the designing part, we have to always use simple English language. Thank you.